Grammar, Unit 5, Group 4. Here we go. I'm gonna do the three sentences with you. I'll do them on the board. You can do them on your paper. At the same time, we're gonna talk really quickly about present, future, and past tense, and then we'll talk about homonyms. Here we go. First sentence. Two rivers flooded during the storm. What flooded during the storm? Rivers, subject, noun. What is being said about rivers? Rivers, flooded, verb. During, preposition, during what? Storm, object of the preposition, the article, adjective. How many rivers? Two, adjective. Subject, noun, verb, pattern, one, check, woohoo. During the storm, prepositional phrase, Period. Statement. Declarative sentence. Go back to the verb and divide the complete subject from the complete predicate. Rivers. Flooded. And the two nouns are rivers and storm. All right, friends. Sentence number two. Jennifer's mom stepped in the mud. Who stepped in the mud? Mom. Subject noun. What is being said about mom? Mom stepped. Verb. In. Preposition. In what? Mud. Object of the preposition. The. Article. Adjective. Whose. Mom. Jennifer's possessive noun, adjective, subject noun, verb, pattern, one, check, woohoo. In the mud, prepositional phrase, period, statement, declarative sentence, go back to the verb and divide the complete subject. From the complete predicate, mom stepped, and our sub, well, our subject is mom, but mom and mud are our two nouns. Sentence number three. My puppy's bone landed in dad's. Let me make sure it is in, yeah, in dad's plate. It's a fun story. What landed in dad's plate? Bone, subject, noun. What is being said about bone? Bone, landed, verb. In, preposition, in what? Plate, object of the preposition. Whose plate? Dad's possessive noun, adjective. Whose bone? Puppies, possessive noun, adjective. Whose puppy? My possessive pronoun, adjective. Subject noun, verb, pattern one, check. In dad's plate, prepositional phrase, period, statement, declarative sentence, go back to the verb and divide the complete subject from the complete predicate, bone, landed, bone, plate are the two nouns. Just a quick reminder, if you see an apostrophe S, that means that it's a possessive noun adjective. Okay, apostrophe S, P, N, A. Apostrophe S, P, N, A. All right, um, the three tenses that we're talking about, we're talking about present tense, past tense, and future tense. And these are your first three sentences on your paper that are in the, the I think it's exercise, it's exercise two that's talking about your verbs, okay? I'm gonna help you with these first three. 
If the verb is in present tense, we'll write the number one. If the verb is in past tense, we will write the number two. And if the verb is in the future tense, we will write the number three. Here we go. I spilled my milk. Spilled is past tense. You know that because here's a hint, ED, I spilled it. It's already done, so we are going to write the number two. Sentence number two is Maria carries her lunch. Hint is that this verb ends in an S, carries her lunch. She's doing it right now. This is a present tense verb, and we are going to write the number one. Sentence number three, my father owns a red tractor. He owns it right now, in the present. Right now he owns it. The S is a hint, present tense, number one. Oh, you guys, we did not get to see any future tenses, but I think you should watch out because I'm pretty sure there are future tenses on your paper. Um, I want to get to the bottom of your paper and just remind you about homophones. We've talked about this in spelling before. Homophones are words that sound the same but they are spelled differently and they have different meanings. Like the words here and here. There's the word here that you do with your ear. I hear the ice cream truck. But then there's also the here like close to you. Come over here to get your ice cream, which is spelled H-E-R-E. And the here, H-E-A-R, that you do with your ear literally has the word ear in it. So on these sentences, what you have to do is you have to read your sentence and then decide which homophone do I pick, which one makes the most sense. And if you get stumped, you can ask mom and dad for help, okay? Good luck, you guys. See ya.